Chris. I'm Quack Wagner. Campus update. Last weekend was the Huntington Beach Air I went out to you at this amazing event. Yeah, it was a great spectacle for all who saw. If you're looking for another great spectacle, check out Appa's latest The Little Mermaid. As a child, of course, I was Little Mermaid, and I always dreamt of Ariel and a mermaid, so it's kind of like a dream come true to be in this role. Everyone Prince Eric, and I watched the movie when I was young, and it's really cool to be able to a part like that. It's super fun. She has such a drive to her, and she won't anything. This is not typical in musical theater, where you get this completely, like, totally different, and you get this totally different side of you, and it's really totally different. Little Mermaid is a classic ever since it came out. She has this very big, big voice, um, and she's also totally different, so she'll have a lot of, like, happy times and, like, totally different times, so if you, it's her way or the highway, so you don't want to be on her bad side. <laughs> the hardest part about being Sebastian is definitely the uh, We have sex, we have uh, incredible incredible uh, everything. It's just so fun to watch. But most of all, I think people will love the Heelys. Go yourself, go to Heelys.com. Looks like Abba has another big splash on their hands. Kill yourself. Speaking of mermaids, Josie has mermaid some food. Kill yourself. Vegan food, that is. She took her no meat treats out into the world to see if people could tell the difference. Boneless, 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 boneless. Thanks, Josie. On another note, we're bringing back our local music segment, Indie Beat. This week, Ian and a local favorite, Pat and Ty, to ask them about their music. Hey guys, I'm Ian Westerbeck, and I'm here to new local bands I know a lot of you would love to I Pat and Ty, a blues rock band from right here in Huntington Beach. Check it out. I'm Tyler, I the electric guitar, and I And I'm Atreyu, and I the bass. We are three people, and yeah. Thanks, Ian. Planes, mermaids, food, bands, awesome. But we can't forget the ultimate arbiters of our school spirit, our amazing athletes. Football season is about to kick off, so let's join Drake in our first look at this year's Oilers sports. With the football season in full effect, we went to interview a few of the varsity team captains. Uh, this offseason, I mostly my defensive skills. Well, this year we're definitely gonna have to put in a lot more work because you know we didn't start off too good this season. But I definitely have, think we have a great shot at it. Uh, this season it's been a, it's, we struggling, but we work a lot harder than last year, and we have a lot tougher. I don't think it's ever scheduled, but our team is tougher than last year's. And we um, the team's greatest strength or advantage this year is that we all each other and we play together. Uh, my biggest goals for this season is to get three or more picks, and the team. The football team has been hard this past offseason and are continuing to hard during their season. We also went to the Aloha football game with the tailgate beforehand. The put up a great effort against San Juan Hills in our home opener. Make sure to come and support football during their games. Our team, you guys. That's plenty of news this week, don't you think, Oilers? I'm Wack Wagner. And remember, seniors, only 254 days till you graduate.